until you start talking about this stuff, about your own race, killing off your own race, you have no credibility to talk about anything else. We are the KKK. We are agents for white supremacy. Welcome back everybody. Hope everyone's having a great week. So I had somebody send me a video the other day and I just had that moment where I was like, thank you. And for me, I've never seen anything like it before. And at first I watched this video and I said, you know, is this guy just an idiot? And then I thought about it more and processed it a little more. And in reality, this guy's a genius. He's saying everything that is true about America and the reality of crime and race in America. Well, Black Lives Matter is gonna be really upset about this one, but you know, I piss him off every other day, so who cares? And it's gonna shut up all of you people who are trying to use race for political gain, financial gain, or whatever kind of gain you think you need. So this black guy gets on a video, He's pretty upset about something. I'm gonna play it for y'all in just a second. But this guy has a swastika tattooed on his arm and Hitler tattooed on his other arm. And he's a black guy. I know, at first thought you're like, what an idiot. But listen to what he has to say. And it makes a ton of sense. <laughs> We are the KKK. We are agents for white supremacy. The Bloods and the Crips killed way more niggas than the KKK did. I got a gun right now in California. I ain't looking for no white boys. I'm looking for niggas out here. Looking for my own homies out here. That's who the I got a gun for. Now, obviously, you kind of have to be nuts to just want to be hunting down people for no reason. But there's a lot of truth in what he said. Agents for white supremacy. I couldn't have said it better myself. All of 2020, it's been about how black people are getting killed by police, whatever other reason that these progressive groups made up. But this was never addressed. Why? Statistics show and now this guy has proven that black people kill more black people than any other race. What y'all don't get is if you're not addressing that problem, you're helping white supremacy. You want to have riots over an idiot who tried to test a police officer or pull a gun on a police officer? But you don't want to have riots about the thousands of people that are getting killed every single year by your own race. It's never been addressed. No movements about it. No, you just have a problem with it when it's a different race doing it. Y'all would rather spend a year protesting over a criminal who pulled a gun on a cop, ended up dying, than worry about innocent kids in your neighborhoods who get shot every single day because that's the lifestyle there. That's just what happens. This guy just said it. That's why we don't buy any of your Black Lives Matter stuff or any of these other movements. That's why we never bought into your defund the police crap. And just to be fair, I'm gonna show you some numbers that are facts. So anything you have to say, you can shove. Until you start talking about this stuff, about your own race, killing off your own race, you have no credibility to talk about anything else. And anybody who gives you the time of day to even listen to it, if you're not addressing your own race, killing your own race, they're an idiot. Let me pull this up for y'all. The black race makes up 13% of America. Not a big number at all. The white race makes up about 60%. We don't have the stats for 2020 and 2021, and it's for sure a lot worse than this. But in 2019, before any of this stuff started, mind you, before any of the riots happened, murder and non-negligent manslaughter 
White, 3,650 people arrested for murder in 2019. Black, 4,078 arrested for murder. There's about 198 million white people in the US. And there's about 4.3 million black people. And y'all came out on top as far as murder goes. Explain that. Number of people shot to death by the police in the United States from 2017 to 2021 by race. Every single year, there are more white people killed by police than there are black people. Do you see us rioting about it? No, because most likely they deserved it. So at the end of the day, if you're really that worried about preserving your race, address the real problem. It's you. And until you do, people like me who understand that all of last year, all the riots, all the Black Lives Matter stuff, all of the BS that you put America through is a total joke. You are victims because you're making yourself victims. You're making your people victims by continuing to have the lifestyle of this guy who's gunning for black people. What else is there to say?